Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to be doing a live website audit. That's right, a live website audit. Stay tuned. So yeah, guys, in today's video, I'm gonna be doing a website audit at a client contact me, potential client want me to do a website audit. If you're curious and you'd like for me to do a website audit, make sure you comment below and I will do an actual live website audit of your website and of your Google My Business listing if you have one. So let's go right ahead and jump right in into this audit. So the name of the business, this is Kim Lee Real Estate. Okay, real estate agencies, etc. So what I'm looking for, I want to look at a couple of things. Generally speaking, looking at, if you will, the way the site is. I want to look at, okay, for one, is this header or if you will, what we call header or the menu sticky? This thing right, if you will, right here per se. You know, this whole thing right here, right? I want to make sure it is what we call a sticky menu okay I want to make sure whenever you scroll it follows you you see how that follows you anywhere you go it scrolls one thing I definitely want though I want an image or a call to action up here that pops in other words that phone number and everything disappears once I scroll so that's bad I want something that pops it says hey call us book an appointment something of that nature right Overall, very pretty website. You know, it's very typical of a real estate website. I really don't like this coloring here because the text doesn't flow, it doesn't pop. It's kind of just blended in there. Um, also, on the home page, you know, this is a very typical, if you will, of a real estate website. They're not really quote unquote geared towards just local SEO per se. That being said, if the only area you deal with is this specific city, then I would tell you you need to have your Google Maps listing on the home page. You need to have a map embed, your testimonials embedded, a lot of stuff that you're missing that you don't have. I'll look at the contact page and see if you have a GMB tied to it. And you don't. Just says 12A6 Cormer Road, which tells me nothing. Um, yeah, it's not even a GMB attached to it. Number two, um, your site is not secure. That's a big one. So you need to get that fixed immediately. Then let's go into your on-page SEO, if you will. Um, you have six H1s. You only need one H1, okay? Only one, not six. You got 22 H2s, which is fine, um, but you need one H1. H1 should be right here. So that I come here, should, let's say real estate plus city. Whatever your city, whatever main area you're trying to focus on. Real estate agent plus city. Homes for sale plus city. Whatever it is, that's what you need. Um, then if we go into your headers, it shows you what your headers are. Just featured neighborhoods is your H1. That's terrible, right? It needs to be your real estate main keyword plus the city your images you have 44 that don't even have alt tags you need to get that fixed without title um, then if we go over here to your tools we can look at your if you will your page speed for your google core vitals we're going to look at that and see if you pass most of the time almost almost generally speaking most people do not pass the google core vitals which was one of the last updates that google put out Google Core Vitals basically tells you is your page loading fast on mobile devices? Is the text chopped off? Is something slowing it down, you know, for the user experience? It could be your server, it could be your hosting, it could be you uploaded images that were too big and not the right size. It could be a thousand different things that will make that website slow, and our goal is to get it fast. Unfortunately for you, on mobile, your page speed is only a 31. Only a 31, which is no, no, no buenos, no good. So um, we want to get that fixed. All right. Then the desktop speed is not too much any better either. We want to get both of those fixed. Okay. And then once both of those are fixed, you know, that'd be good start. Now we can also run this through our handy dandy little, it's called basically website auditor. 
in which we audit the website and say, okay, is this website running good or not? Um, what on page or technical SEO is missing? That's what this is going to tell us. Okay, and what I'll do is I'll send this report over to you as soon as it's done running. So we'll let that go ahead and run. But basically, I get that tool from link-assistant.com. No, I'm not an affiliate of it. No, I'm not paid to say it. It's just one of the many tools that you can use for free instead of buying paid tools um, a lot of times. But we're going to wait for that to run with a you know real estate website usually it takes a little bit longer to run because you have a lot more listings than the average website that being said overall you need to get your website secure your h1s aren't tagged you don't have location pages you don't have your internal linking your page structure etc the basics is what i try to tell people to get done if you get the basics of one page done your seo and your content you really don't have to look at hacks and different tricks and stuff that everybody wants to look at to get something ranked. Most people fail on the basics. Basics being structure and content, okay? So that's the things we're going to want to look at whenever we go looking at this website in specific and trying to get it ranked. Um, let's go ahead and go back to it real quick. It's still running, but we can look at a couple of other things for you. So, for instance, if I'm looking at your blog, most blogs, most of the time people write blogs are four or 500 words and they're really a waste of time more than anything. Um, I want blogs that are 1,500 or more words, okay? This has Flash. Flash is no longer even supported. Your blog here, this thing, this is not even 70, maybe 70 or 80 characters, if that. Um, let's go down to another one. You know, I mean, you use a word counter. I use word counter plus. It tells me that's literally 132 characters. This is what I call a waste of time, really. I would never even post that. Um, let's see. Now you're located in Vancouver. So how would I know that without even looking for it? I would have put right here as an H1, real estate or realtor Vancouver, Canada. Okay. Your whole website needs to be optimized towards that specific city, and it's not. Um, you need to have location pages set up. Your blogs need to be mentioning the local areas. There's tons of different things you need to do. I've done a couple of videos prior to this one on location pages. If you're curious about that, you can always go back through that and check that out and um, get that taken care of let's go over here and see yep it's still running it's going to be a bit because this is a rather large website um, and always will be whenever it's a realtor and real estate i hope these few tidbits will help you um, if you don't have a google my business listing you need to get a google my business listing i'm unable to audit it because i don't see it tied to this whatsoever uh, many times realtors actually are under one you know, realtor or if you will, real estate company. And um, sometimes they don't have their own real GMB listing, which they can actually get. Um, you know, that's going to be my main thing is I'm going to need to know, do you have a GMB listing? Because I don't even see that you have a GMB listing. And if you do, it's not tied to this. Let's go out and I'm going to look one last place. So it's Kim Lee. Yeah, see, you're a part of Oakland Realty Downtown, and I'm going to almost guarantee you Realtor in Vancouver. I can almost guarantee you, and there you go. You got your GMB listing here, and it's not even on the website. So this needs to be on the website, on the home page. You need to have your Google My Business listing. You need to have your reviews embedded. Besides all that, you need to have as many points, or if you will, of connecting your GMB to your website. All right. On your GMB, you should be responding to every one of these reviews like you are. You need to upvote the reviews. Upvoting is simply the one, this little thumb right here. You're just taking this little thumb, and if you will, you're taking that thumb and, you know, just simply upvoting upvoting is simply me taking the little thumb voting it up 
Voting it up. That's it. That little vote right there. That's it. Do that to every single one of them, right? As long as they're positive reviews, okay? Then, you know, here we want all of our products posted, every single one of them. <clears throat> we want at least 10 question and answers every month. Okay. How do you get Q and A's? You can look up real, real, t real estate and you got 50,000 questions people are asking. What's the best credit? How do I get my credit ready? What's the best neighborhoods to live in? Everything. Um, you get all your profiles here. How do you get all your profiles here? By having all A, making sure you have all your citations, your Facebook, your Instagram, your Twitter accounts, your LinkedIn accounts, all that with the same information as is what's on the website and then dropping that same information in what we call your schema or your code, okay? Then I also want to make sure I'm posting on a daily basis as well, which you are not. Um, but that's, I mean, generally just looking at this, that's all I can see. Um, but I would definitely, definitely get this, you know, optimized and up to par, which it's not. And once again, your audit report's still running. It's going to be running for a bit. But those are some of the things that I would do if I was you to get this website ranking and start ranking in your area. Then we can also go to Local Falcon. I'm going to run a Local Falcon report and just say Realtor Vancouver and just see if you pop open at all okay we're gonna run a scan for you and we go search this tool is called local falcon basically it gives me a geo grid or what we call a geo grid and it's going to see a bunch of reds or greens and those reds and greens tell me basically where you're ranking at in vancouver Okay, I know some of this is over water. It's going to have to be because there's land here, land here, land here. This is only a two and a half mile grid, only two and a half miles. We try to get you to be number one, two, and three within two and a half miles. And after that, we expand it to five miles, then 10, then 20, and so on and so forth. But let's go ahead and run this scan real quick and we'll see what we got here. If you're already ranking or not. So while that's waiting, you know, we'll go ahead and keep waiting on this. Got a couple of more things. And then, Kim, I will send that over to you or John. I'm waiting. Wait for the results. We'll keep waiting for these results. And then as they pop in, you'll start seeing the different colors. Red is bad. Orange is getting better, um, depending on where it's at. And then greens, hopefully. This information right here already tells me, for instance, you know, you're you're in the top two pages, basically. Like the only green I see so far, or even minutely around green, is in the water. And the rest of it that's on land is in the red. So it would take me a good three to four months to get this in the top SERPs in the, number one, two, or three. So when I say SERPs and I, let's say I'm looking up realtor in Vancouver, you know, and I wanted to find the top realtor in Vancouver, I want you to be popping up in here, right in this section, right? Um, I don't want you to be, you know, anywhere else but there. And that's where most people miss out on it is they think, well, I'm ranking on page two or I'm ranking at number 10 isn't that good no unless i'm ranking in this area it is not any good not to me at least you know maybe to someone else but to me if you're not ranking in the top three you're not getting phone calls you're not getting business you're losing money okay so that's where we want to get you we want to get all these numbers in the green so you're right here okay that's going to be the goal and we do that by doing some of the things I've suggested in the video, as well as some other tactics that I use. I hope this video has been helpful. If any of you are watching this and you would like my Google My Business audit and my SEO audit sheet, make sure to comment below and I will get that over to you. Also, if you like for me to do a free website audit for you, which I normally charge $500 for, make sure to comment below as well with 
<clears throat> saying, give me an audit, please, and I will contact you for your free audit. So once again, my name is William, and this has been awesome. I hope you guys learned something out of this. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Turn on the bell notification so you can be notified anytime we go live. We appreciate you guys, and you guys be blessed. Have a great day. I have so many SEOs that hate me and say that I'm still in their methods. They bitching and cry, labeling me SEO Black Hatter was a nobody. Now I'm at the top. Most wanted, most loved, bad business owners, and hated by most SEO opponents. You think you're an SEO god, but you're an SEO fraud. Guess I'm the